Yes, weeping may endure for a night, but joy is coming in the morning. Jesus came to take our pain and our shame away. The situation of your life might look so bleak that it feels all hope is lost and there seems to be no way. Sometimes, it seems God is oblivious to our pains and suffering. You get to see people who don't serve God, ride in big cars, live in big houses, and enjoy the goodness of life, while you as a believer still find yourself suffering in shame and misery. Most of your peers seem involved in one shady deal or another, in a bid to get riches and wealth. And sometimes you can get frustrated, and that might tempt you into trying to join them and be with them just to end your pain and suffering. There are so many situations where you have to turn to God in prayer and cry to Him. You are so fervent in doing the things of God. You pay your tithe and offering regularly, you give to the poor and the needy, and you are a born-again child of God. Then you begin to wonder why God's not listening to your cries. You begin to doubt in your mind if God exists. Problems and circumstances of life can make you turn your back on God. And this is the reason you need to be watchful and prayerful, because the devil is described as a roaring lion, seeking for whom to destroy. 1 Peter 5 verse 8 If this is your situation today, then you need to hold firm to God and seek His face in prayer. As to turn it around, Christians, we need to hold on to the Word of God, because even in times of our suffering, we have the time and belief that there is light at the end of the tunnel. God loves us so much that He had to send His only begotten Son to die for the sin of the world. God saw our suffering and shame and he wanted to renew that loving relationship he had with man from the very beginning of the days of Adam and Eve. He also wanted to wrestle us away from the control of Satan and his agents, and set us free from all forms of the captivity of the strong man. Isaiah 49 verse 25 says, But thus saith the Lord, Even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contendeth with thee, and I will save thy children. Through our Lord Christ Jesus, we became saved and embraced the love of our Father. Hence, Christ has taken away our shame, suffering, and pain, so that we can live our lives to the fullest in the power of the Holy Spirit that dwells in us. One thing to note is that God is not the author of our suffering and pains. Through sin, the man brought suffering to the world. The devil and his cohorts are responsible for the afflictions and pain we suffer in the world today. Satan has three missions in this world, which is to kill, steal, and destroy. John 10 verses 10. Satan was described as a thief in this verse, and this is because he comes to take away and destroy the peace and love of God in your life. This is why God is always knocking on the door of your heart and crying daily to give yourself to Him. He wants to give you peace. Matthew 11 verse 28 says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavily laden, and I will give you rest. Jesus assures us, that He is ready to give you rest in every area of your life, if you're willing to trust Him and surrender all to Him. God sees your tears and pains, and He's willing to turn things around for the better. When we give our lives to God, it doesn't mean the automatic end of our problems or pains. But God assures us He would be with us and help us lift our loads. Every problem has a day that will come to an end in the life of a believer. There is always going to be a solution to every problem of your life, as long as you trust God and obey His commandments. Even though you are the cause and reason for your problems and pain due to your ignorance, disobedience, or negligence, God is a loving Father who is ready to forgive your sins and make you whole again. 
He is ready to overlook your past sins and take away the pain and suffering. All God wants is that you surrender your heart and soul to Him and make Him your all in all. God needs you to surrender all unto Him. He does not want to share His glory with anyone but you, and He's willing to make a way for you when you least expect it. The moment you take all your pains and sufferings to God in prayer, He's ready to answer you. Psalm 50 verse 15 says, And call on me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you, and you will honor me. God is ready to deliver you from all your pains and suffering when you call on Him. Through the power of prayer, you will be able to turn around the situations of your life and commit all your burdens and problems to God. God never sleeps nor slumbers. He's ready to take away your pain when you cry out to Him. Take time to call on Him in every area of your life, and He would answer you. He would make a way for you, where there seems to be no way. God listens to you when you pray. He answers you and shows you what you need. He's a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. Whenever you're in any form of situation or circumstances, then don't forget to seek God in prayer. It's also important to seek God by studying God's Word and standing firm on His promises. God cannot fail, and He would never fail. He would always bring His Word to pass. The Word of God helps us stand firm in the face of trials and pains. God, through His Word, gives us His promises daily to assure us that He will always be with us in every one of our ways. The Word of God lifts our faith in God. Faith comes by hearing the Word of God, Romans 10 verse 17. Our faith is made stronger when we study God's Word and we're careful to meditate on it daily. Not only should we study and meditate on the Word alone, but apply them to various areas of our lives. This is one sure way that God gets involved in our lives and makes a way for you. There are so many times you as a believer in Christ Jesus might feel things are not going the way they ought to. It sometimes feels the pain and suffering are endless, and there seems to be no respite for the suffering and pain you're passing through. It could be in the area of your health, marriage, career, and so on. However, God has promised us that He will take away our shame and wipe ours because of His infinite love for us as humans. There are always going to be times when things won't be as smooth as they should, because as Christians, there are bound to be trials and problems along your way to salvation. It is left to you as a child of God not to fall into the clutches of the devil. There would be times when you might experience sorrow in an area of your life. The world is a battleground. Hence, there's a need to fight against the temptations of the world because the world will do all in its power to draw you away from God. This is why you must stay focused on God. When you as a believer suffer hardship and pain in any area of your life, be it financially, health-wise, or materially, the devil will try to offer a short fix for such situations and problems. The solution that the world offers to your problems does not last long, but in the long run, would rather escalate and increase the problem. The devil gives you something just to collect even more from you. So many people who could not endure to the end suffered hardship but fell by the wayside and denied their faith in Christ for the things of the world. An example was Demas, who in the book of 2 Timothy 4 verse 10 left the apostle Paul for the things of this world and went to Thessalonica. James 1 verse 2 to 5 says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds. Apostle James in that verse admonishes us to be cheerful and focused when faced with trials because your faith is being tested, and this will give you great endurance to run the race to the end. 
James 1 verse 5 says, If any of you lack wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. You need the wisdom and knowledge of God to know how to go about leaving your sorrows and sufferings and getting a new life in Him.